This video shows you how to connect instruments, MIDI instruments, uh, to one another. So, in, in this case, I've already configured the AL88C uh, interface, and it has all these connections already defined. So, all these are available. And I also earlier defined a connection to an MPK261 keyboard here on the MacBook Pro. So I'm going to link this keyboard to, for example, the synthesizer that's on the AL88C. So to do that, you have to go on the Connect tab in the upper left corner. And I want to make a connection from the MacBook Pro here, from the NPK261 port. Uh, by the way, if you click on the little plus sign that's here, it recenters everything. Now, what I want to do is connect the whole instrument. I'm not going to connect any particular channel. I'm going to connect every channel and the clock signal, everything. So you choose virtual cable. So you create a cable and add a cable between this, so the MPK261, and something else. So I click on Add a MIDI Cable, and I want to, in this test, connect it to the synthesizer that's connected to the AL88C. So I click on AL88C. I see what's connected out. Of course, I'm, I'm the in is the MPK261, is going through the cable out to the Yamaha 480 synths. This, this is where naming the ports correctly makes sense. So two Yamaha 486 synths. I just click here and I've just made a connection. So right now, if I play notes on that keyboard, you can hear them playing on the synthesizer that's on the other side of the studio. And it's the connections are made right away and that's it. So for now, I'll just make another one. I'll actually go back to the MPK261 and make a connection to the, um, the Mac Pro. So I'm creating a new virtual cable and I'm add, I click again, I click add a mini cable and on the Mac Pro, I've got a uh, main stage running as a sound generator. So I click here and I'm going to use a VMIDI port because it's it's not a real instrument, it's it's an in, in, internal instrument. So I click on VMIDI. So I've just made a connection to the Mac Pro, the other computer. So if you go back to the overview section by clicking on the overview tab on the upper left side, you see now these orange wires that show you the connections that you've made. So I can move any of these and you can see that it's connected to the Yamaha 4D synth and also to the Mac Pro. And if I expand the Mac Pro, you can see that the connection is made to VMIDI 1. So it, it just re reformatted the screen for me. So these are my connections and I've actually if I press keys you uh, well, I can hear the synthesizer at the other side on the other side of the studio and the uh, sound that's coming through the speakers that are on top of the uh, uh, the sound uh, uh, connection on the octa capture which the Mac Pro is connected to so it's MIDI signal is going from my keyboard to the synth and at the same time as a MIDI split basically to a virtual port which is connected then to uh, Apple main stage, the software itself. So that's it for this connection.